And we have seen that um, from Dr. Yu, the re news reporter, regards Dr. And today, and we have a very wonderful doctor. And uh, okay, he dare to say that he is a member of the bomb squad, right? But uh, how dare he is, then you will just know it later. And uh, you will know that he is just a professional and a wonderful doctor, right? And uh, let's just take a news clip, uh, you know, and uh, about uh, Dr. Yu. And before that, okay, we have a uh, Deng Ruyi from Kaohsiung that uh, designed the autographic designing for Dr. Wu Yu. Okay, and uh, I said uh, to Mr. Tang that okay, and although you are not here, but you have to watch it because I talked about you there. Okay, and uh, it is all about. Doctor use like a news reports, right? And uh, I just choose some for them. Okay, and let's take a look. And uh, we have two people, and uh, we calculate a, a lot of like uh, gallstones, like over like a uh, five thousand gallstones, right, in from his body. And clinically, this is a rare situation. And Mr. Lee was just astonished because you know he just thought that he had a stomach ache, right? And he didn't know that he had such a disease, right? And because of the disease, then he realized that he got some problems eating, right? And the gallbladders, you know, it is a kind of a highly dangerous, like 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 a disease for some people. If they are fat and if they like a greasy food, it's gonna be dangerous, right? And here are the gallbladders, okay, which is uh, like, like a symptom from what you eat, right? Okay, and this is something to do with the constitution physically. And if you keep like a light food diet, and this is healthy for. And thank you, okay, this is a news clip from the ITV. And uh, we know, you know, Dr. Wu is really a professional doctor, right? And about uh, the title, what is Bump Squad? Let's take a look at uh, this video. And uh, this lady is only 20 something years old, but he got cancer. And he and then she, she was nervous, right? And uh, let me tell you, Dr. Yu was really humorous, right? And he said to his patient that uh, I, and the one who must be nervous, not you, the patient. The most difficult is that, okay, the tumor is in the abdomen and it has a lot of like, uh, like uh, venacodas and uh, like a pancreas, all the important organs, all right? And they surround, they are surrounded by the tumor. And uh, all the all the important organs, like major organs, were there. And if we have the operation and the separate all the arteries and the veins, right? And uh, there must be some sacrifice, right? And it was really a dangerous like operation, which is just like a bomb scrap. And doctors must be very doctors, and they have to like remove the tumor. And if there's any tiny mistakes, and there will be kind of a major hemorrhage, which will cause the, the patient, you know, death. And it is just like we are taking that we are riding the like like a roller coaster. And if you had like a like a higher heartbeat, and it means that okay, my patient is gonna be in danger. Of course, I'm worried. And after four hours of the operation, the result was, well, you can see the urine's color is a little bit like a brighter. And, uh, okay, are you feeling better now? And it is really a challenge situation between like, a, like a doctors and, of course, the patient syndrome. But the doctor you is always willing to do something, right? And the doctor Yu is just like a, 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 our like a lighthouse that always delivers us hope, right? And he says that he is working hard, okay, to all the patients, right? And I say that if I just do something, you refuse to do something on the patient, and maybe the patient has to just 
like uh, lose his life, right? So we will just do our best and solve the patient's problems gradually. Well, and this can be a big problem. It also can be a small problem. And the doctor Yu just remove a lot of tumors, just like a time bomb. Okay, and he always just like gets life from the death, right? And he is really peaceful and tranquil in mind, and he is always ready to face all the challenges here. And come down and uh, face the like uh, eternity. And well, and is doctor also sick, right? Of course, right? And uh, he told me that he got uh, like uh, some like a pain on the shoulders, right? And uh, I got a uh, like a uh, problems, and uh, I I was really really kind kind of uh, well. Don't know what to say, right? And uh, I had uh, such the pain, and I had to wake up at uh, like around the two a.m. So I had an operation, and Doctor Yu just was lying on the bed, and he was a patient this time. Okay, in the operation room, and he got some like a cervical like like a injury. All right, and uh, I had the uh, uh, like a anesthesia, and uh, I felt that my spine was kind of almost like a separated and uh, removed. Right, and uh, this was a very successful operation, and uh, I didn't ask anything, even uh, about the, the the rate of success. Right, and uh, I, I think he is a surgeon, and he has to like a. Like uh, conduct a lot of operations, therefore he has to maintain the same gestures for a long time, and this is why he had uh, such a pain on the shoulder, right? And uh, well, and this was really painful, and it was a suffering for me, and the painful just spread to my entire body, okay. And after my operation, and uh, it really reduced the frequency that I had the pain, right? And I don't have to rely on the painkillers too often, ladies and gentlemen. And let's have let's have a doctor you with us today. Thank you. Okay, there's news about the doctor Yu's news, so we can know that in his specialty, his dedicate all his strengths to help the patients. Are you still in pain? Now, now it's only minors, but it's still painful. It still feels soreness, but it's not uh, affecting me in my sleep. So to so be a doctor is really difficult, and we really appreciate even his uh, Good energies or his technologies, his skills is very outstanding. He did not thought about himself, but even during his operation, he still uh, feel the pain. But he still give the energies to all the operation teams. So the sparkling he created, and he said light that sparkled all people. <laughs> so we will say then, then, then after clapping that we admire his dedication. He brightened the words, and we welcome the uh, doctor from Ciji, Taichung Ciji. Thank you for uh, all your introduction. <laughs> I feel like I'm being in the sent home. And the study group is very outstanding, and I had this chance to promote myself. And what I want to tell you about is the bump squats. It's like a, 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 a the cancer is like a bump in your body, and we would like to fix it before it getting out of control. 
So we started from the traditional surgery to a minimally invasive surgery, and it's also the interdisciplinary teams that can provide all stages cancer care. And we also uh, emphasize this uh, individualization treatments from the uh, we integrate the specialties from different departments to perform the comprehensive cancer cancer cell cancer care. So uh, in our hospital, we have the five year survival rates that is better than the other medical centers. And there is a significant difference. It's even better than the other uh, national medical centers. So it's a great, that means our team's dedication was recognized. And there's a lot of things that we can still work on, like this patient was um, had an operation because the uh, sarcoma, and by the time he came to our hospital, he looks like he's 10 months pregnant. And he went back to his uh, original medical center, and the, the doctor thinks that it's too risky to be removed by the surgery. So he's very desperate. And the giant tumor that you can actually feel this, and they, the, the other doctor thinks this is inoperable. It's really huge. If you can see from the CT, the computer tomographies, it's really huge. And you can see that he's difficult in breathing and walking and losing appetite and losing weight. And the tumor was treated many times, but the medication seems like it's not functioning very well. So if we can perform the operation, maybe they will then have a better chance to cure. So I was murmur in my mind, if I can remove it, the patient might not stand a chance. So basically we pour off the tumors. We have to carry this tumor because it's too huge. And we also uh, remove partial of the organs. So to our teams, the teamwork is very important. Our determines is also very important. It was like a godless of with the thousand eyes and eyes. And and you can see before the surgery, the belly was bulging, and after the surgery, the uh, belly was flattened. And after two weeks of surgery, he recovers very well. And the other case was also the cancer relapse. And we, after the treatment is not working, so he came back to our hospital again. And also there's a um, tumors in the pelvis and the abdominal cavities. If you can look at the shape. And by the time we remove it, it seems like a human body with body and the hands and feet. <laughs> it looks like a, like an animal, actually. And this uh, surgery is also very difficult because usually this kind of surgery that will cause a massive hemorrhage. For us, the surgery does not come without the price because you have to bury the stress of the success or the failure of the uh, operation and also cause the death of life of the patients. And also from the families complain about the surgical complications. So lots of the uh, physician suffer from the hypertension if you exercise every day and you still suffer from the hypertension because the stress hormone caused it and also the long time long times of uh, operation that you feel physical fatigue and the stress hormone that make you forget about thirst and hungers 
After the surgery, the, you can really feel the odors of the urine when you, after the surgeries. So after the surgery, but during the surgery, you don't really feel that. But right after the time you finish, the stress of hormone starting to activate. And when you relax, everything comes back to you. So I place this because my severe soreness of my neck and shoulders. So I try everything. I did. The, I take the medications. I went to the uh, doctors. Nothing worse. But this was treated by the Dr. Chang, the acupuncturist. So the patient, when they come back to visit, they were very happy. So what we can do is keep a good intention and do the best we can. Because the so the uh, the God sent the, the another doctor to treat my own illness. So now we talk about the liver surgeries. Usually, uh, let's talk about this uh, giant liver cancer. A lot of uh, medic the other medication, the other medical center thing is inoperable, but we were able to remove it successfully. And like this uh, giant liver tumors that invent into the arteries, and through the arteries, we can still do the uh, tumor resections. And even the family will uh, um, worry about whether you have enough of uh, facility. Do we even have to transfer the patient to another major the hospitals? And this case is also um, a case that he went to many different hospitals to search for the medical help. And they, they always tell him that there's no way to treat. And but through our evaluation, we can perform the surgical resections. Well, this kind of a major, a huge tumors that usually causing a basic hemorrhage. And usually after this uh, surgery, our clothes also cover with blood. <laughs> the blood stain crimson is our robe, and no one dared to engage the terrible enemy. So that reminds me about myself that I fought for the battle and I fought for the patient in danger. So as you can see, the uh, position of the tumors, okay, the blast then is already invented to my uh, underwear. So I already lost five to six of my wares. <laughs> and I had to get a refund for this clothes that I lost. But usually for the huge tumors, people usually don't like to get involved with that. Many medical centers don't want to up deal with that, but for uh, like my uh, father, I can still perform the laparoscopies to perform the surgical resections. And by the time we, you return to the wards and you become the son again, and I'm getting emotional, and because it's my father's and I cannot carry this emotion to perform the operations. And for the gastric surgery, we were very proud of it. We deal with a lot of a case that the other medical center cannot consider is inoperable, but we still try our best to um, search for their survival. Well, oh, this female case, uh, this male case, that after the surgery, they think that the cancer cell already metastasized, so it's inoperable. So what we did is a, 
a CT that we can see some lymphal swellings, and we uh, performed the immunotherapy plus the chemotherapies to shrink the tumors, and the tumor shrinks after night time. So treatment so is function very well toward the medications. So after that we. Suggests that we perform the we perform the uh, gastric resections, and then we find the uh, liver the metastatic lesion already disappears. And through the pathologies reports, we can also see the metastatic lesion already disappears. And. This one is the relapse of the gastric cancers after the surgeries, and her condition is not very idealist because uh, next to her gastrics is all uh, metastasized. So what we did is uh, total gastrectomies and cholecystectomies and plastic chemotherapies. Before, in the past, maybe it's inoperable, but now we have the new treatments that can cure the patients. And we did the hyperthermic chemoperfusions, and the hyperchemo perfusions apply to the uh, cancer cell already spread spread in the stomach cavities. And most of the cancer tumor may not be able to remove through the surgical resections. And the hyperthermic chemo perfusion is applied to those cancer cells to kill the cancer cells that cannot be seen and cannot be removed. So after, after years of the surgeries, there's no more relapse. And for this case, it's also had a medical treatment and the other medical centers, and he's losing weight because the giant tumors, the tumor already compressed on his stomachs. So you can see the operational anastomosis. So we had to deal with his problem that he's unable to eat, and we hope he can accept the surgeries. So this is a surgery like the total gastrectomy and the follow up with the hyperthermic chemo perfusions. So in the past, when we did the laparectomies we, to see the cancer cell metastasize, we usually give up. And this case is very special because he himself has a subtotal gastrectomy and the cholecystectomies years ago. And now he has another diagnosis, gastric remnant cancer and a bile duct stone. But the patient already 85 years old. To perform a laparectomy could be a heavy burden for him. So through our evaluation, we decided to use laparoscopy to perform the um, total gastrectomy and the cholangeal lysotomies. And it's very successful for the 85 years old patient. He can discharge within 10 days. And lots of times we try our best, but we can still not fight the natures. There's a patient, 37 years of gastric cancers in her terminal stage. And 
She passed away and then left her husband and the daughters. And the patient told me that she expects me to visit her every day. This is her happiest moment. When I ask her, do you feel any、uh, uncomfort? And at the end, she tell me, you know, this useless to say anymore because there's no no cures. And patient's only thirty something years old. So what I tell her is、uh, to think about the. Uh, permanence and impermanence, change and unchange, just to seize the limited times and to and to be with her patient, but she cannot listen to my words. She just thought that, do you just want me to wait to die? She smiled wryly. This is really hard for us to understand them and to be. Show our compassions. So does that mean you're giving up on me and want me to wait for dying? So after she passed away, we we're all very sad, and we can also feel for the families. A few days later, after the patient passed away, then the family gave us a thank you cards and with two cakes. To our teams, and she wrote a letter to appreciate us for the treatment to her sisters, and she was very comfort, and that her has more time with her families. So give them the chance to say goodbye to her families, and for us. Even that we know the death is inevitable, but we still keep on fighting the cancers, and we also had the patient services that we gather the patients all together, let them share their experience. And、uh, give them more confidence to fight with the cancers. So we create this、uh, family、uh, patients association. We go to the patients' home and gathering all these、uh, patients to share their own experience.、Uh, to share their own experience. And sometimes it's most persuaded by hearing the others' experience. The last case is a very special case. It's a The gastrointestinal stromal tumors. The only treatment is through the surgical resections, and if it relapses or metastasizes again, it can only be treated with the targeted therapies. So the last time when he、uh, relapsed, the tumor is. Growing and causing a rupture and starting with the internal bleedings. So, in order to save his life, lots of times、um, the medical, the other medical doctor may suggest we just perform the. And we did all the way, all the treatment that we can to、uh, discuss with the patients. If you want to go on for another surgeries, <laughs> so your.、Uh, so if you think that we can fight for it, if it's gonna work, then I will willing to do it again. This is what the patient say. He's full of the confidence and he trusts the. Doctors, and he wouldn't care about the process of the treatments. But for for us, I would do the best I can to treat you. But we also have to protect ourselves. If he's already went through the night times of surgeries and it's still not cured, but the patient won't give up, and so we were planning for the tenth times or even eleven times of surgeries. And、the patient still stay alive even now. This is the tumor that caused the rupture and the internal bleedings. 
So what you can see, this, they are all tumor cells. So the old cavities in his abdominal that will remove all the tumors in his abdominal cavities. So usually people don't get that silly after one time of surgery, then, and if it's still not treated, then you will just give up. But the patient is very confident and he's believing his trust in the doctors give us a lot of confidence. So what we rely on is not like a, a superpowers, but our perseverance. So we can see the patient that reborns after all this process. And things will work out in the end, just what they believe. And there's another case by my teacher. He's also the doctor, and he like to challenge the, the disease some other cannot be done. And so he asked the masters, and the master told him, <laughs> The master told him that you and your emotionally difficult that you're saving lives in the operation room every day. So some of the patient might some of the patient might come back to you and affecting your mind. So you have to go vegetarians and also you have to change. And when he share his, uh, when he share what he's doing right now, and because I also as a vegetarian, so I <laughs> what we do is a good intention. So we have the goddess protecting us. So right now, you might not be able to clear yourself, but if you have a disease, you still have to cure it. So when the disease was attacked, and I was very painful, I wake up in the middle of night, and what I feel is even it just chop off my head, the pain will be the same. But the gradually pains, that lasts for a long time. And it's not like myself doesn't have a painkiller, but the painkiller still doesn't work. I was thinking at that time, maybe my fortune is very bad or because the, the my enemy is trying to destroy me. So I did all kinds of uh, treatment, like acupuncture and uh, rehabilitations until the Dr. Tang come and uh, treat my uh, illness and remove the illness. And now I'm totally survived and recovery. So, um, if you have disease, you have to treat it, you have to face it. You have to go through the doctor's hands and to treat your disease, like your soreness of the uh, shoulders. It's not because of the ghost or whatever, it's because it's occupational disease. And thank you for listening. Thank you for Dr. Yu. He's very nice. He's relaxing and uh, to share his own experience. So what how, what the case is that he mentioned earlier, the other medical center will not take the patient and they determine it's inoperable and they just send the patient home. But the Dr. Yu thinks that even there's only a hope, only a little hope, we still try our best to treat the doc, treat the patients. And we saw this uh, slice, that very little tumor that we can remove from the abdominal cavities. Oh, you're paid 
Okay, that's a saying that the perseverance is up is your superpower. Do you think that Doctor Yu has the superpowers? Let's clap our hands to appreciate him. He called himself is a bomb squad expert. He told me the last cases he said. So, hey, how long have been he been talking? He's, it took him so short that to finish his speech. So after we heard about all his um, sharing cases, please write a comments. So the patient's comments is like um, the uh, doctor saved the light with or without a chance of living survival. So what I hear from you is you tell me to just wait for dying, but but from the cars that the patient gave it to them, a thank you car and a two case that can show the patient's appreciation to the doctor is dedications. It seems that this patient does not make it, but she passed away, but the family still appreciate Dr. Yu for trying his best to treat her sisters. And the patients' families are just so thankful to Dr. Yu. And uh, this is therefore I always encourage everyone to just say, okay, the love, tell others that you love, right? And uh, don't just hesitate, right? So I want you to read this like a message, right? Okay. And Dr. Yu he is a Bodhisattva from Taichung. And uh, he really cares about all the patients alive. And uh, he is really the healer, the great healer, a wonderful doctor. And uh, we have a tourism from Beijing that uh, this is a very wonderful bomb squad that uh, just takes care of all the terminal, all the disease, uh, like, like patients, right? And uh, we have a PR Chen say that, okay, actually, and doctors, you know, are so friendly. And uh, like, like the doctor, he is also a friendly doctor. And he just makes, you know, his patients really, really like a safe and uh, tranquil, right? And he also mentioned that all the, like, like, uh, like stones in the body are so just astonishing that he encouraged everyone to just take care of their physical health and do more exercise, right? And right here, then the, we have a Zhao Qi from Taichung say, saying that, okay, it, it is really, really wonderful that. Okay, so let's wait a moment. And we have another message from Huarian. And uh, the bomb squid is really wonderful that, you know, Dr. Yu just, you know, cure his patients from suffering the cancer. And uh, this is really, you know, precious that, uh, you know, they, they can just say, uh, use their valuable lives and do something meaningful. And uh, we can feel that, uh, you know, when you speak, uh, you have a love, right? And Guan Xin in from Canada says, this is really something, right? He is just a gorgeous, right? And uh, he is not only a gorgeous doctor, but uh, also a professional healer. And uh, yeah, the, he is there for named the bomb squad, and this is wonderful. And uh, and uh, we have a Dr. E, and uh, who is really humorous, and he shared very much about his great love, right? And uh, I, I just personally feel that he just talks about his own stories in his like uh, experience. But come on, it's just more than great, right? And uh, we have uh, like uh, Yan Qingfeng from Tainan, and uh, volunteers from Hebei, China. And uh, we have a show from member. 
and they all say great speaking. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, please you know say it if you really love it. All right, tell me how much you love our like contents, right? And、uh, Doctor, you really just saves all the patients, right? Although、uh, they were abandoned from other hospitals, right? And、uh, it is really brave for Doctor Yu to have the surgery, okay, for his own father. And、uh, yeah, for from all the messages, do you feel satisfied? Of course, yes. And there are the instant messages online, right? And what you share today really touches all the people around the world. And you are a super loving bomb squad, ladies and gentlemen. Let's give him a big hand, right? He is really shining. He is not only a bomb squad; he is a wonderful doctor, right? Okay, so let's go. Give him a big hand. 回来会不会每一个人都要比照这样的其他？ Okay. 那你要，那你要是光明灯才可以亮起来。好，我们再次热烈掌声，感恩台中职院于镇长主任，谢谢，感恩感恩哈。Okay. 好，那我们 ，So let's you know give him one more time the shining big hand.